Hello and welcome on my YouTube channel. My name is Max and in this video I'm gonna show you how to create this 3D portal card in Spline app. Let's start from creating a new project. To create a portal effect in Spline we need at least three objects. But first delete this uh, directional light, we don't need this. And now we need to create a card. We can reuse this default rectangle. Let's change the size up to 350 and 450 uh, but you can make any size you want this card would be like our window then extrude a little bit 4 can be enough here uh, to make it nicer we can set uh, rounded corners I will go with 30 uh, let's rename this rectangle layer now let's add uh, the bunny 3d model uh, which we will see through the card and let's scale this model a little bit so select the bunny go to the scale row here uh, press the lock icon and type 2 so we scale two times this model of the bunny and let's move this bunny behind the card this card uh, on the position row I will change the that position to minus uh, 200 for example now let's add the cube here this cube uh, will hide everything inside so we will see our bunny only through the card uh, let's make this uh, cube bigger at least uh, bigger than our card uh, in the shape section set the size uh, 1000 for every side now we need to put this cube in the right position. First select orthographic projection uh, in case if you were in a perspective mode. Then click this little tiny circle uh, here uh, to look at our scene from the left side. Uh, then be sure that cube is selected now and start to move this cube to the left by this blue arrow here until we will see our card. This is our card. Well, actually, as because uh, the size of our cube is 1000, uh, we can actually adjust the position by typing minus 500 here. Press reset here to go to the default view. Now the magic begins. Let's start from setting the background color to the black. Click here and choose the black color. Now Select the cube and in the material section turn off the lightning and set the black color as well. Now press the plus icon here and then select the glass material. Move the glass material layer to the bottom so the color layer will above the glass. Now select the card object. In the material section here, also turn off the lightning. Here, where the color, select and change the color to the glass. Now we already can see our bunny, but it's blurry. Click on this icon and change the blur value to zero. Well, we already have created the portal, but we don't see the card. Let's continue with material section for our card. Click plus icon and then here select the outline. Click on this icon and we are in outline options. So here first of all change the color to white and then change the width up to 4. Now we're done with outline then press plus again and switch color to matte cap. Now click on this icon and in this list, scroll down and select this Matcap Reflection 5 image. Now you need to select this little tiny icon, which is Blending Mode. Click here and switch Blending Mode for Matcap from Normal to Screen. Now you see that our card finally looks like a card and has some nice reflection. Well, to make this portal card look more interesting, we need to add some background behind the card. So, select this card layer, 
and duplicate it. Then rename this layer to back. Now we need to move the back object behind the car. In the position row here, type minus 500. Then go to the shape section here in extrusion, type 500. So here the minus 5, here just 500. Now let's go to the material section and we need to delete the matcap layer and glass layer. Now we need to add another one material, click plus, switch color to depth. Select this icon, so here we have the option for depth material. First of all we need to switch type from radial to liner. Then in direction section we need to put 0 at x direction and put 1 for z direction. Now we need to change near and far. For near type 500, for 5 add 0. Now let's change the white color in the ramp to blue like this. But you actually can switch to any color you want. And the last thing we need to do is in visibility section switch from uh, front sides to back. And now to see our depth we need to switch from orthographic projection to perspective. So we already have a background inside the card. Let's add one more interesting thing. Select the back object, go back to the material section, here we have outline, scroll down to contour and select lines from contour to continuous. Then change the color from black to white and change the width, uh, so let's say 2 and frequency let's set 1. Then let's change direction, so deselect Y and select Z. And two last things, move this outline layer up to depth and switch blending mode to overlay. Now we have a card with interesting depth effect. To finalize this scene, I will copy the material from back object and put this material to the bunny object. Only thing I need to do for bunny is to delete outline material and then change the option for depth. I will play with near and far, so I will make near smaller, put it somewhere here, like 46 and I will leave far as 0. Then we have our 3D portal card with interesting effect. But you can rotate it and see what is inside of our card, inside of our portal, which is, uh, well, not correct, because portal means I can see what is happening behind the card. To fix this, go to the expert, open place settings tab, and then scroll down to the orbit limits. Select orbit limits and leave these options. So as you can see right now, you can't rotate your scene, your, your card and see what is behind the card. So we can limit the orbit. Well, this is it. Hope you like this tutorial, but please share any feedback. It was my very first video. Find the link to this project in the description, subscribe me if you want to see more Splunk tutorials and not only, and thanks for watching.